Hey guys, Dr. Boo here for another Medical Let's Play. A unique style of Let's Play where I play medical based video games with the eyes and knowledge of a doctor. Almost. But anyway, today we're going to be playing Dance Dance Revolution for the PlayStation 2. And now I know you clicked this video wondering, wait, how's Dance Dance Revolution a medical based video game? But you see, all these games I play don't always have to do with medicine or surgery or anything super complicated like that. It can be as simple as general health. And now what's Dance Dance Revolution? Exercise. And what's exercise? Burning calories. And that's what's the purpose of this video. It's going to be as easy as using the workout mode in the home version of Dance Dance Revolution to count how many calories I burn while playing the game. But the twist is, I want to see how accurate the in-game calorie counter is. So I bought this wrist uh, heart rate monitor from your local pharmacy, and it has two functions to it. Well, a few, but the two main ones that I'm going to be using is, one, it has its own calorie counter, so I can double check myself by checking that way, and another way is it gives me heart rate. So I'm going to be taking my heart rate after every song, and then I'll average it. And then I'll be able to put it into a mathematical equation in which I can calculate how many calories I burned. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, and we're at the main menu for uh, DDR Max 2 for PlayStation 2. And like I said in the intro, we're gonna go to workout mode because that's the mode that counts the calories. So let's do it. Let's dance. Yeah, let's dance. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Didn't even get to input my weight let's yet. Let's dance. All right, take two. There we go. All right, so you have to put your weight into this uh, in pounds, and uh, I'm a fat kid, so I'm 185 pounds, unfortunately. Uh, all right. All right, now we can hit OK. And I just want to throw a, um, a small disclaimer. Where, where's the camera? There you go. A small disclaimer out there that. Um, I am using fraps to record the program, so I'm expecting the game to lag. Yep, there we go, right on cue, right? The game's gonna lag quite a bit because fraps is just retarded like that, but uh, it's the program that gives me the best, um, the best audio, so I'm gonna deal with it and uh, I, hopefully you guys can too, but uh, mostly me, because I'm gonna be playing uh, a rhythm game which uh, requires accuracy. So yeah, it's a calorie count mode and not a perfect attack mode. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> and uh, without further ado, let's start with uh, Heaven. Are you ready? Here we go! When you lying here in my eyes, I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. just took my heart rate with this and it says that I'm at 146 I guess I'm more out of shape than I thought 
Uh, let's see. The game says I lost 20.66 calories. And the watch says I lost 27, which is a little off already. But uh, we'll see. And now let me reset the watch real quick. There you go. Select music. <clears throat> so I consider that to be kind of a, a warm up song. I know I can do a lot harder songs than that, but uh, this isn't about that. It's about uh, there's a lag. Uh, this is about trying to just see how the calorie count works and see how uh, everyday games. Well, this isn't your everyday game, but uh, how games can help you uh, exercise and do a little bit better. Um, I like this song. It's a little bit more difficult, and uh, there's a lot more movement, so we'll really be able to see uh, how the calorie count works in this. So, let's do it. Are you ready? Here we go! BPM right now. <clears throat> Nineteen point four six one. How did I lose less calories playing that one when there were more steps? Let's see what the watch says. Seventy. This has to be some bull crap here. <clears throat> so we're getting very conflicting values right now, but uh. That's where the fun part comes in, right at the very end. <clears throat> Select music. Let's see. I kind of like this one. Well, kind of. I do like this one. Uh, I think in an episode of Seinfeld where they play DDR, it's some sitcom. They actually played this one. And uh, so maybe it sounds familiar to y'all, but uh, I think it's a good song to end off the, uh, the, the, tr the trio of songs. Yeah, the trio of songs. <clears throat> Water. <clears throat> All right.
your performance is refreshing. song since I was already uh, <clears throat> already like in motion I guess maybe my body got comfortable with it I don't know but here we go 30.3 3 4 okay well I forgot to clear out the, the calorie count from the other one but uh, I can just do the current count minus 70, so I have, <clears throat> try not to sound out of breath, but failing at that, 142 minus 70, which is 72. I did a lot more movement in that one, and I only burned two more calories. Something's up here. But uh, I'm going to take a quick break, kind of towel myself off, do some of the calculations, and uh, we'll uh, discuss it. So stay tuned. Okay, and I'm back after a 10 minute break where I got to, you know, towel myself off. So now I'm nice and dry. And uh, I did some of the math and I kind of reviewed the video a little bit just to make sure everything was all right. But um, okay, on to the results. So this is the equation I got off the internet. Uh, this is the equation for calorie burn if our maximum uh, volume of oxygen is unknown because, uh, I mean, the only equipment I used was... Uh, this webcam, the DDR that's now in the uh, the DDR pad that's now in the corner, and uh, this little cheapo heart rate monitor that I bought, and so yeah, no fancy equipment there. So um, I'm gonna do it the easy way. Anyway, uh, I'm male. If you haven't figured that out already, so I use that equation. Um, you can read it for yourself, pause the video, anything like that, and uh, I also included the female equation. Uh, just in case you're a female viewer, uh, in that case, whoa, I have a female viewer. That's exciting. Uh, and I defined all of the, uh, the variables in there. You can see heart rates is in, uh, beats per minute, weight is in kilos. Wow, the little camera looks like it's trying to adjust, um, but whatever. Age in years and time is the amount of time you spent exercising or doing whatever you were doing. And then uh, at the bottom, I kind of just have all the scribbles of um, everything in between each song. So yeah. Alrighty. So now uh, uh, the evaluation of all the values. Um, the in-game calorie count, which is uh, added up to be 70.46, which is a value that I'm pretty happy with. Um, I used to run back in the day way back in the day and I used to actually did try to keep count of how many calories I was losing and stuff like that so um, it, it feels like the right number and yeah just my gut feeling uh, because if you look at the monitor count and um, yeah 169 that's quite a lot even if you run on a treadmill or anything like that you know that four and a half minutes isn't gonna burn you a hundred something calories and um yeah that's almost two and a half times the amount that the game um calculated so yeah i want to say right here that i can disregard this value it just seems too high and will throw off everything so uh let's go into something that i can kind of trust on you know mathematical science so yeah uh first uh for all the variables i had to um define them or calculate it accordingly so yeah 185 pounds in kilos is 84.1 which makes me very sad because that means I'm on the verge of being obese um, 
the heart rate i just took all three and i averaged it out i know i wasn't moving the entire time um but just for the sake of the equation let's just say i am so 177 time uh each ddr song is actually averages about a minute and a half instead of you know some songs like heaven actually is about a minute and 45 seconds but just to keep things very simple we'll say it's a, a minute and a half so four and a half minutes equals 0 0.075 hours and I'm 23 years old here's the entire equation you can check my math if you're a nerd like that but I calculated 83.82 which is another value that I'm satisfied with so you can take a uh, the game calculated value versus a mathematical equation value and see that they're only off marginally I mean 13 calories what's that a bite of a Snickers bar or something like that um, the main thing about this is that calorie count is actually very difficult because each person is unique. You're your own gender, your own age, your own weight, height, race, all that good stuff. And it's just something that a machine or like a game can't calculate right off hand, you know? Uh, but it's good to just have a ballpark value because, you know, in the end you're not going to be counting every single calorie. Like, um, let's say you're dieting. To diet, you need to lose between 200 and 500 calories. So if you take 70 versus 83, I mean, you just play like four to five sessions of DDR and there you go. You lost your calories for a day. And if you really want to be nitpicky about the extra 13 times five, I guess you can say, um, just play one more session. I mean, what's it going to do? It's not going to kill you or anything like that. And in the end, um, you want to play and diet you know, with fun, because it's no point, you know, forcing yourself to walk, to, you know, run or do whatever cardio you need to to lose your calories. As long as you're having fun, then it makes it all worthwhile. So for me, being able to play DDR, which is, uh, you know, an intense cardio workout, plus it's a video game. I mean, you know, I kill two birds with one stone, and that's all it is. It's just having fun while doing it. So I guess in conclusion, I can say that the game count may be flawed, but then again, the mathematical equation may be flawed in itself. So um, it's good to have a ballpark figure, and that's exactly what the game provides. So I'm very happy with it. And um, I hope you guys are too, because it was fun to make this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you also enjoy my other previous videos, and as always, stay classy.